Okay. Mm. Let's get serious. A new mural pops up on the west side of Youngstown, an electric vehicle charging station will be installed in Columbiana County, and some great news involving craft beer. Those stories and more on today's Daily Buzz. Hey everyone, I'm Maggie Young and welcome to the Daily Buzz. Now yesterday I made a statement that food is the only thing that people care about. And I have to admit that's not completely true because beer is also very important. And you can find some very important beer news at businessjournaldaily.com. A Wild Children's Center for Science and Technology is moving its annual fundraiser, The Science of Brewing, to an online platform. It will take place next Friday, August 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. via Zoom. With the purchase of a $60 ticket, you'll get a six-pack of beer, a tasting bottle of mead, a tasting bottle of wine, and two tasting glasses. In other beer-related news, Penguin City Beer will be releasing a limited edition YSU can on August 4th, commemorating the 80th anniversary of Youngstown State University football. The label's design, featured on Penguin City light cans, is the block Y laid out on a silver backdrop. Now that we have all that really important news out of the way, let's take a look at today's top story. A new mural has sprung to life on the west side of Youngstown. The 110-foot mural painted on the west exterior wall of West Side Bowl features a variety of colorful birds and one bat in various phases of chaos, one of them holding a sign saying the end is near. The mural was created by Dave Witzke of Cleveland, also known as the Sign Guy. While the artist says the mural has no message, Westside Bowl owner Nate Offerdahl says it's open to interpretation. Last week we featured some in-depth stories on the excavation industry and some Sojourn students seeking a conversation about racism. Let's take a look back just in case you missed them. While many businesses are suffering through the COVID-19 pandemic, it's a much different story in the excavation industry. Area companies report a strong market this year. Woodford Excavating co-owner John Woodford says there's a wide variety of work keeping the company busy, so much so that they can't handle it all, and a lot of it is local. From last week, it seems like the floodgates have opened. I mean, there's more stuff to bid. I'm used to traveling for work, you know, to keep everybody busy, and there's so much work going ar around this area that we can't even keep up on bidding it, let alone if we get them, I don't know how we're going to do it. The domestic excavation market in 2020 is valued at $68.6 .6 billion, up 2.7 percent from 2015, according to IBIS World. You can hear more from Woodford in today's Three Minutes with interview at businessjournaldaily.com. Mahoning Valley Sojourn to the Past members stress the importance of communication, political action, and proper reporting by the media as they host workshops to educate the public on the United States history of racism and potential solutions. I think that's one reason why this, this workshop is so important because we're starting with just the history. It gives you motivation and encouragement. You know, um, I don't, there, Martin Luther King, he doesn't know how things are today, but because I have learned about him, and I have learned about a lot of the principles he has taught. I think he would be proud to know that a lot of those have passed down to me. There's a lot of people who isn't, who doesn't necessarily know, like, what goes on behind the scenes or uh, why exactly we're doing what we're doing. So I feel like the first step should be to educate people. You can check out the Three Minutes with video and the story by clicking the News tab. Today in our Brain Gain coverage, schools are gearing up for a new year to start. But what's that going to look like? Schools have been planning for months, seeking advice from the CDC, local health departments, educational service centers, and others. Many districts like Columbiana, Mahoning, Poland, and Canfield are offering a mix of in-person and online learning, while Youngstown City School District will be 100% online. You can find out more about what the schools are doing in Jeremy Lydic's story by clicking the Brain Gain tab. The Columbiana County Port Authority is looking to encourage the use of electric vehicles, approving a service agreement for the installation of a new charging station during the Board of Directors meeting Monday. 
The five-year service agreement with Chargeport Inc. of Delaware includes maintenance, billing, and monthly tracking reports at a cost of $10,800. The station will be installed in front of the Port Authority offices in Lisbon. And that's all for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell for notifications if you're watching on YouTube. As always, you can find the links to all of the stories in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maggie Young. A new mirror. <laughs> three really? Words. Three Not words. even three words. A I messed up on the third word. A new mur a new mural. Mur a mural. Seven seventeen Credit Union. Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time.